Uh, my name's Mark, I work as a yacht delivery skipper um, and I do a lot of work with Halcyon International Yacht Deliveries. Uh, as a delivery skipper we get to move all different types of boats, new ones, old ones, motorboats, sailing boats, uh, different areas around the UK, across Europe, the Atlantic, the Pacific and we're always jumping on and off different boats and I find that they've all got different navigation systems. Uh, some of them have got new all signal dancing chart plotters, others have got old GPS systems. And as navigation is pretty important when you're a delivery skipper, I always take my own backup on my phone and a tablet, um, and I run Navionics. Uh, I've used it for a number of years now. I find it uh, a really great app, really great navigation package and um, it, does, it, makes it, it makes it pretty simple once you get to learn all that it can do. It took me a little while to learn all its functions and all its features but I really enjoy it. It's very quick and very easy to use. Um, so I wanted to do a, a series of small videos um, so that if you're new to Navionics I could just uh, give you a couple of tips and tricks and uh, show you how to use it and hopefully save you a little bit of time uh, if you're looking how to use some of the functions hopefully I can highlight them for you and help you out uh, it's a really great way to navigate I hope you enjoy the videos when you open up the Navionic screen you get a map mine looks a little bit different to yours so I've got a number of pins in the places I've been and the white areas indicate the maps I've downloaded but what the first thing you want to do is you want to find out where you are so if you look down the bottom left hand corner, there's an arrow in a blue circle. If you press on that, your boat will be located. Where am I? Woohoo! Across the Atlantic. So, I'm across the Atlantic, but I can't see exactly where I am. I need to zoom in. If I use two fingers and put them on the phone and move them out as you do normally, you can see I'm in Bermuda. If you zoom in even more, you can see the red arrow is my boat. There's a detail of where we are. It's an old volcanic area uh, with lots of reef rock now. And we are near the Royal Naval Base, an old Royal Naval Base and a cruise terminal. And we are just here. You can zoom right in that's not quite where my boat is, but that's where I'm sitting now, on the quayside. There you go. So you can zoom in and out to locate the boat. If you touch the screen, you come up with the crosshairs. On the right, it's got a question mark. At the bottom, it's got details of what you've touched on. And at the left, you've got the weather. Let's have a look what we can use it for. So if I zoom into Bermuda and find something local to me, here we go. There is a, an emblem, a pink emblem with a boat in it. What's that about? If I move the crosshairs over the marker, the pink marker, it says Royal Naval Dockyard. I click on Royal Naval Dockyard and get the details up. Here you can see it's Royal Naval Dockyard. It gives it lat long gives a summary of what it is. The marina at the Foreman Naval Dockyard. The complex is much more. Bermuda Maritime Museum is there. It gives you an address, the website, contact information. If it's a marina, normally you get the VHF channel. It gives you um, navigation notes. And then there's lots of things, whether it's got gas, diesel, dockage, you can scroll through. There's people's reviews that have been written, which are very helpful to tell you about the marina. There you go. Press the cross to get rid of that. That's the little question mark function. Let's zoom in here, see what else we can find. Ah, fuel. Move the crosshairs onto the fuel. Click at the top. Roby's duty free fuel. That could be useful. I've got a bit of motoring to do across the Atlantic, and it'll give you all the details there. Uh, quite often gives you the telephone number, the contact details. So, the question mark, what does the question mark do? If you click on the question mark, it gives you 
the information of the area you've selected. So I click, I've moved it to an anchor there, clicked on the question mark, and up comes the depth area, uh, it's a restricted area, and there is the anchor mark. You can click on the little C, and it'll give you more information. Anchor berth C, information for British warships only. All other vessels are warned to anchor clear of them. Ah, so this is anchoring for British warships. Um, no other vessels are able to anchor out there. Lots of information. You see, again, I can put it over the red marker, click on the question mark, and there you go. It gives you a lat long, a distance away from me, actually, and the bearing, but also gives you 33 as the number of uh, the um, lateral marker, and you can click on that, and it gives you the details. It's a red flash in red every two and a half seconds red lateral buoy conical shape 33 having a red flashing light with a period of two and a half seconds so there you go that's a simple function you can move the map around and locate the crosshairs on something you're interested in click on the question mark so one of my favorite things to use on Navionics is the dividers. If you look down the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the dividers are there. If you click on those, you end up with two pins. Uh, you can move these around the screen by just touching them and holding them and move them around. You can move them wherever you want to go. And they give you the bearing between them and the distance. I'd like to know in a straight line how far it is from Antigua to Horta in the Azores. Not that we're going to be sailing a straight line, but uh, it'd be interesting to find out. So I've already got a marker on Antigua. So I'm going to move the purple pin just near to Antigua. I'm going to zoom out, zoom out my fingers, pinching the screen. I'm going to move the red pin up to the Azores. Let's have a look here. And I've already got a marker on Horta, so I'm going to put it near Horta. There we go, and that now tells me it's 2,169 miles and a bearing heading of 54 degrees. I wish it was that simple, we won't be sailing that way. But I do love these the dividers, you can move them around wherever you want to go. Um, I use them for working out tack angles and jibe angles and distances off the land, uh, distances between islands and distances between channels are very good. If you click on the purple one there, it tells you from the red one to the purple one is a heading of 87 degrees and 795 miles. If you click on the red one, it does the reciprocal bearing and it tells you it's 266 and 795 miles. They really are very simple and enjoyable to use. If you want to get them to disappear again, you just click the dividers in the bottom right hand corner.